today, we're going to start degunkifying this thing so that I can get it ready for paint. So here we go. This thing just keeps getting better and better. <clears throat> the uh, drawer slides all have these really kick-ass all-metal ball bearings, and I don't know if you can see this, but the material is just thick. It's about 70 thousandths with the powder coating, so I guess that's about, what, 14 gauge? Something like that? Anyway, I'm super impressed with the quality of this thing. Every single one of the drawers had the adjustment paddle in it, and every single drawer rolled pretty nice. So a little bit of cleaning on these bearings, a little bit of uh, some heavy grease in there, and this should be a pretty nice cabinet. So now that I've got the decades of dust mostly wiped out of here, I wanted to show you guys just how heavy duty this thing is. So the entire cabinet is made of this heavy, heavy duty sheet metal. Come on, focus. There we go. Um, this heavy duty sheet metal, it's all rolled and formed. Um, again, all the drawer slides have these really nice ball bearing rollers that are metal. I think they're aluminum. And the frame of the cabinet is, uh, you know, it's not just a, a sheet metal shell with some rails spot welded into it. It's actually got this internal framing. Um, everything is formed and, and reinforced and corrugated. The thing is just burly. Um, the bottom uh, on the outside has a little bit of rust, nothing major. Uh, a little bit of gunk in the back here that I, I just can't even get to it. Um, the thing is about 28 inches deep, and my arms, sadly, are uh, about an inch or so shy of that, so I can't quite get back there to to wipe it out, unfortunately. Um, the vacuum did the best it could, and I got the bottom wiped up the best I could. You can see there, there's some, uh, some denting from being moved probably a hundred times. Uh, what is that? Is that one of the bumpers? Oh yeah, looks like it's a, uh, a little, the back of a little rubber bumper. And most of these drawer slide bumpers are intact, but there are a few missing. So we will design and 3D print some replacements for those out of a TPU. Um, otherwise, this thing is in really, really good shape. None of the rust even goes through. Uh, I thought the front edge of the bottom of the cabinet here was rusted, but it turns out it's like... It comes off, whatever it is. It's like maybe decades of floor wax that's been mopped onto it, or maybe... It's not paint. Maybe it could have been like a wooden floor stain that got pushed up onto it because they didn't want to bother moving the cabinet. I'm not really sure. Um, if anybody knows what that might be, maybe you worked in one of the labs back in the day uh, and you saw what the maintenance of those card storage rooms was like, you might be able to tell me what this brown stuff is, but it's definitely not rust, which is uh, makes me really happy because I thought the bottom of this thing was nice and rusted and I thought I was going to have to put some elbow grease into it with some uh, some navel jelly. but. Looks like I don't. So, all in all, this thing is just fan-fucking-tastic. Uh, really, really good condition overall. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, move on to the next steps. Let's get the sticker goo off of it. Um, gonna try acetone, but if it eats up too much of the powder coat, uh, we can give mineral spirits and denatured alcohol a shot, maybe some WD-40, we'll see. As you can see, denatured alcohol doesn't touch this stuff. Neither does acetone. So what is it? It doesn't appear to be paint. It's got a very flaky texture here. Just kind of seems to flake off. Maybe I'll just try taking the scraper to it. I'm not sure what this is. That was fairly easy. Between the green Scotch-Brite pad, a plastic scraper, and my metal scraper, uh, we got that cleaned up 
pretty proper there. Uh, still need some scuffing and there's a couple little residual spots, but those will get taken care of when we prep this for paint. So with that, that's the main cabinet degreased, degunkified, all the decades of scotch tape removed, decades of who knows what on the front of here, maybe floor wax or some kind of floor treatment, uh, and the decades of dust from inside the cabinet have all been removed. So next up, we will finish cleaning the drawer slides and the drawers themselves as well as take off all those face plates and prep them for paint. So, thanks for watching.